and welcome to the Minecraft family channel. Today I have an unboxing. I don't know what it is because I haven't ordered that much lady lately, so <clears throat> I was wondering what it was, but let's try and get into it and see what we have. It says home fun on it. So I don't know what this is. Let's see. This is a larger painting. It says Home and Fun 5D DIY painting. And here's a toolkit and a large, large painting. I'm really wondering what this is. Oh, I know what this is then. This one is the one that I am. Um, I reordered because I had a bit of an accident with uh, the old canvas that I accidentally uh, ironed. Bad idea, <laughs> because that one was um, was not definitely not uh, good for ironing. It was like a uh, um, real canvas uh, and uh, with a. Uh, yeah, pre-painted pre uh, canvas almost. When you, and when I ironed it, it went completely warm. So I decided to uh, to order a new one. Um, and uh, in a big bigger size as well for my daughter because she really liked this one. So I really wanted to see how that was going to turn out. It looks really nice on the foam roll. Now let's try and get it up off the foam roll and see on the back of it. Yeah, it's really nice. So I'm going to, just going to lift a bit of it um, because I really want to get it back on this roll. For me to store it when I get to it, so I am just going to do like this uh, and try and see if I can lay it down. It's tightly wrapped up, so let's just see. This is oh, it looks really good. This is a round one, as you can see. I don't know. I've got just got some things with round at the moment and it looks really good it's really difficult to get off <sighs> so where are we at I don't know so let's just see mm. Going to see if I can roll it, take some back on the other side as well. It's really, really, really hot, oh, and I'm ripping it. <laughs> so, and let's see if I can start doing that. Perhaps I'm just going to see if I can. I've got all sorts of things stuck to it. Trying to lay it down flat at the same time as I'm trying to roll it out. that I'm talking to myself but it's really difficult so um, it, I, it's a really nice canvas I only see one place where oh, again, uh, where I where the glue has lifted and that's from the middle here <laughs> and it's a really small spot and I don't think that's going to affect anything so 
I'm just going to see if it could stop rolling so you could see it this way. So here we've got the uh, that's the lion, isn't it? You can see the lion and then you can see is it a yeah, I don't know. Is that the cheetah? And uh yeah and and the white lion, isn't it? Um I'll just take it back. So I think that's where I'm going to stop just to be able to roll it up again. So a really, really nice canvas and the printing is really, really nice on it. Um, yeah, nice and clear. No issues here. So I'm just going to lay it flat down. It's a 70 times 50 centimeters. So it's a bit bigger than the first one that I did. Uh, but there was also... <laughs> There's a reason why I ordered them so that so big. First of all, there was a lot of uh, animals on it. And second, the 70 times 50 frame is a standard frame size. I've started to look at those things as well because you might get a cheap painting, but if the frame doesn't, if you don't get a, a standard frame, um, they end up being really expensive. So, um, so that's why I just decided to do that. So I'm just going to, you can see that's a small pocket here, but you're able to get it down. It's a really nice canvas, this one. And then there's some, there's just some air bubbles on it. But otherwise it looks really good. So that's why, and again, there's some air bubbles, but this is from me. And I think that's what causing it uh, sometimes when we lift those halfway and we don't get them down this wasn't here a minute ago so and this is probably from what how long back i lift oh god then i'm looking but how long back i lifted the paper can you see that so if i try to lay it down from here flat on i think i'm going to be able to get it out and I've got the same problem on the same side. So if I were to roll that up, it would be an issue. So taking it back again and laying it down again. So, <laughs> well, it's really being ripped now. So let's take as long as I just lay it down. So let's see now if it's disappeared. Yeah. Not quite. So this is Tyra from the future. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick uh, 
voiceover because the sound went really bad in the video and therefore it didn't sound very well. So uh, just to conclude, I used a lot of time and that's why I just uh, doubled the speed, three doubled the speed on the video because I used a lot of time trying to get the uh, canvas to lay flat and all the bubbles out. Uh, I see um, it's now stored uh, and will be waiting in line to be done sometimes throughout this year. Um, there's 44 colors in the canvas and I'm now doing inventory. I, uh, I'm again going to speed up and uh, let you listen to some music. And in the end you will see my conclusions on the... Uh, on whether or not uh, all of the drills were there and um, what I think about the canvas and uh, the quality. So uh, yeah, see you in the end of the video. So all the colors are here, um, as you can see here, and I, I mistook this 44 colors in it, so I'm quite impressed with this one, I thought it's going to look really good and I think I have some of these colors in AB, so I think I'm going to, from the other painting, so I think I'm going to mix them in and use them as highlighter where they were supposed to be used as highlighter, and I think they were supposed to be highlighters in the blue butterflies amongst other things and some some of the green leaves so yeah but thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't subscribed and see you in my next video and happy diamond painting bye for now